Hey everybody, it's Paul from Last Level Tech. I'm back again with Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC and I am looking at my settings uh, screen at the moment for the video settings of what I'm using using two GTX uh, Titan X's in SLI on my machine. You may have seen a previous video I put up a few days ago where I showed off the Titan X's and an initial kind of playthrough of the game and what it was kind of looking like and you know was beautiful, how I could use dynamic super resolution to upgrade the uh, the video uh, quality to 1440p and to UHD uh, quality as well. As you can see at the moment, I'm using 1440p. Um, and I just wanted to run through a few settings so to kind of show you, um, because one thing I noticed in the video, especially when I got in the plane and I started flying over Blaine County and everything else, was that even with Titan X's and SLI, this game was dropping down into the 30s and 40s uh, frames per second mark. And I couldn't understand it, you know. I've, you know, there's so much power that's being chucked at this game, but for some reason, um, the, the the way the game is coded or whatever else that's being used at the moment, or maybe it's unoptimized drivers, who knows? And that, that might all get ironed out in time. But um, for some reason, I would play fine in Los Santos City area, and everything else was all good with all the details all maxed out, um, and I'd get 60 frames per second, no problem at all. As soon as I got out into Blaine County, across the hills, out of Vinewood. Um, the frame rate would just drop. It would just like sometimes it was fine, sometimes it was down again into the 40s, and it was like it's really frustrating because if it keeps varying up and down like that, it's it, especially when you're driving, it's kind of irritating um, because you, you you can just tell the, you can visibly tell the difference, and and also when you're controlling, it feels different as well, which is kind of frustrating. But the first thing I wanted to bring to your attention really was uh, was this. So the refresh rate on my monitor, or my TV as it is, I can't change that higher than 59 hertz. You might have the same problem, I'm not quite sure. And I'm going to show you, now notice also I have VSync set to off here. So I'm going to show you something quickly. If I quit here, and quit the game. Yep, we can quit, that's fine. Uh, one of the things is, um, and I am using NVIDIA, so obviously, I've, as I've said, I'm using GTX Titan X's. If you're using AMD, this probably isn't going to be much use to you. Um, but for NVIDIA people out there, if you want to, uh, if you're stuck on that 59 hertz uh, option, and you you're noticing things like micro stutter, so every once in a while, you it just feels like it's stuttering every little bit because it's your panel is refreshing at 60 hertz, but the game is set to re to render at 59, and it's like okay, there's obviously a little frame here and there that gets uh, gets missed. Um, so what I need to do was, uh, if you go into Manage 3D Settings, and then click Add, you'll be able to add in your Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, program, which you can see here, and then scroll down the list and go to Vertical Sync. I've set mine to On. Now, what that does is it overrides anything that the game says, and the graphics cards tell the game, basically, you are going to run at the refresh rate, I tell you, and I'm going to tell you to run at the refresh rate of the monitor that I'm connected to, connected to. in this case, my TV says, it's 60 hertz. So you're going to refresh at 60 hertz and that's it. Okay, no problem, game over. Let's move on. Uh, no question, no further questions. And uh, yeah, and it works. It does work. It does make a big difference um, when, you, when you're rendering at a consistent 60 frames per second, um, as this game is really designed to do, uh, then uh, yeah, it, it plays better um, you know, than having that little micro stutter every once in a while. If you're, if you're kind of observant like I am, probably a little bit too much so. Uh, it can get quite annoying. But anyway, let's boot up the game again. I'm going to show you, uh, as I said at the moment, I'm running the game at 1440p using the dynamic super resolution. Um, and I'm going to show you what I've been uh, noticing, um, which is quite a good little probably demonstration of this. Um, because I had a particularly irritating, irritating problem of as soon as I got out into Blaine County, started playing the Trevor missions, um, the consistent 60 frames per second that I used to have with Franklin and Michael, uh, Franklin and Michael during the game um, seemed to disappear. So, um, quite irritating, really. Uh, you know, I would drive around as uh, Trevor, and sometimes it was 60, and sometimes it would just dip by 20 frames per second, and it just didn't seem to be any real reason as to why, because it wasn't like, in some places I was like, I, you know, I'm, I'm in the middle of an open desert, and then sometimes I'm in, I'm in a motorway. It's like... Okay, in the motorway I can understand because there's extra cars and stuff, but in the desert there's nothing and I can't understand what's going on. Um, you may have seen in the previous video, I, you know, as I started to fly um, and go across different areas. Flying is different because you're, you're that much higher above the world, you're rendering so much more of the world. So even in the city you can see the frame rate drop. But I did notice there is a, there is a particular setting that was a, 
causing me issues. So, and to demonstrate that, what I'm going to do is, let's have a look at the settings first of all. So, this setting is what I'm going to show you, is it extended distance scaling. So, I had this maxed out. So, everything else is maxed out, as you can see. Oops, uh, go back. And, let's have a look again, sorry. Uh, go back to, uh, so graphics, so we've got, 1440p, aspect ratio is auto, blah, 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 FXA is on, I don't need any MSA at the moment, VSync is off, that's fine, and everything else is pretty much maxed out, apart from the, uh, what was it, MSAA reflection, Re reflection MSA is off at the moment, I'm still playing with that, um, I haven't really noticed that much need for it at the moment, um, but everything else is maxed out on, on the game, and as you can see here, everything else is maxed out, particularly this setting. Extended distance scaling, which apparently is supposed to increase the the draw distance, I guess, the level of distance that uh, that things look in the in the far far distance. I'm I'm not sure if this might make a difference to when you're being a sniper and you're looking really far in the distance or not. Whether it's required or not, maybe I don't know. But for general gameplay, as I'm playing, I haven't noticed any difference whether this is up or down. And I'm going to show you what it does. So I have it maxed out at the moment. Notice the frame rate is on 60. Uh, I'm going to get in the car, Let's. I'm, I'm going to go over and drive to this particular area here on the map. Okay, so let's uh, let's take Trevor around. Okay. Again, you can watch the frame rate, it's at 60 hertz at the moment, so it's nice 60 frames. It starts to dip a little bit there, down into this 50s. I can handle the like 55 to 60 range, it's okay. When it gets below that, it gets a little bit annoying. But you can see it's, it's, it is up and down a little bit as we uh, drive towards our destination. Uh, let's continue on over. And yeah, look at that 40s. We're hitting 40s now as we start to uh, approach the... Uh, oops, get over there. Uh, as we start to approach the freeway here. And we can look over, you can see it's like, okay, I'm on top, it's okay, it's like, okay, now we're down into the 40s, whoa, okay, now we're starting to dip. Hmm, okay, now 48, 47, uh, and I can tell it, there's a difference, because when I'm trying to drive, it feels a little bit more, less responsive, I'm sorry, more or less, a, a, bit, a little bit uh, less responsive, um, but let's park our car up over here, now we're down 49. 47, 48. Now, I want you to pay particular attention. So we're in the 40s. And watch the left-hand side of the road there as the cars approach. You can see the draw distance there as some cars appear and trucks appear and then kind of disappear and then come back in again. And um, so you'd, you would expect maybe the distance scaling has something to do with that. But let's, uh, let's make a change. So again, we're on 49. I can flick around... And we're up and down to 60s, and then we're up to 62, and then I can focus again, and I'm back down into 49, 47. I'm just going to change this one thing. So, advanced graphics. I'm going to change this down. I could minimize it completely, but I found the kind of sweet spot for me is maybe around here, two to three marks in. I'm going to leave it at two, and apply the change. And Boom. 60 frames per second. Now, again, look at the, the, the road. I mean, the cars and the trucks appear and disappear as per usual. So it's not like the, you know, the, the draw distance from that respect has been brought so much forward that it makes it look awkward or whatever else. Uh, the only thing I can assume is that if I'm using something like a sniper scope and I'm having to focus in on something in the far distance, maybe it looks better, maybe it's not. I haven't really checked that out. But for general gameplay... You know, that's a massive difference. I mean, I am running around here. Let's go back up the top of the road, which you saw as I approached the road and went over the bridge. That was into the 40s. You know, it's, it's not changing. It's still on 60. Get out of my way. All right, I'm moving around. Let's, let's pan the camera around. Still at 60. Still at 60. Move your bike. Oops. You shouldn't have been there. But look, you know, 60 frames. Absolutely... And I haven't changed anything else within the, dis within the options, you know, it's everything else in the graphics settings are all still the same. It's just that one setting, for whatever reason, whatever it does, you know, it just seems to absolutely kill your frame rate. Um, 
I've messed around with the Ultra HD as well, and you know I can change the settings in there to get it to 60 frames as well. But that one setting again, if I start to use it, it just drops it like a stone. So yeah, that's um, Grand Theft Auto 5, and maybe you know what I'm hoping is that maybe help you to maximise your frame rate potential for your graphics card, particularly if it's Nvidia. It'd be interesting to hear from other people that use AMD um, graphics cards if if they want to put in a comment to say that, that that particular setting has a detrimental effect on on their performance levels in the game or not you know maybe it works better on AMD cards I don't know um, I'm hoping you know this is Windows 10 I'm using Windows 10 technical preview um, I'm hoping that in time maybe more graphics you know this is the SLI um, NVIDIA game rated game ready driver for GTA 5 so maybe in time there will be some extra developments and patches from both Rockstar and NVIDIA and maybe AMD on their driver perspective to improve performance and maybe allow us to use that setting a little bit more uh, but as it stands I haven't really noticed any great deal this great deal of difference with not using it and by lowering it but I have noticed that you know the performance of the game is so much better with it lowered um, so yeah let me know it might work better on your your 6 series 600 series 700 series cards 900 series cards from Nvidia and uh, hey, if it helps you out, let me know. And, uh, I hope this video has helped you. And um, if you liked it, please uh, rate and subscribe. And maybe I'll see you in GTA Online. Bye.